Amylin or isolate amyloid polypeptide, IAPP, is a 37 residue peptide hormone that plays a role in glycemic regulation. It plays a role in glycemic regulation by slowing gastric emptying and promoting satiety. IAPP was discovered through its ability to aggregate into isolate amyloid deposits, which are seen particularly in association with type 2 diabetes, where patients exhibit reduced levels of this protein in the blood and pancreas. It belongs to the calcitonin-related peptide family, which includes peptides such as andromedulin, alpha and beta calcitonin gene-related peptide, intermedin, and calcitonin. These proteins all share key post-translational modifications and all have an amidated C-terminus and an intramolecular disulfide bond near the N-terminus. Amylin is processed from an 89 residue coating system in the pancreatic beta cells which undergoes post-translational modifications including proteus cleavage to produce the peptide hormone amylin. IAPP is part of the endocrine pancreas system that contributes to glycemic control. The peptide is co-secreted with insulin in an 100 to 1 ratio of insulin to amylin from the pancreatic beta cells into the blood circulation and is cleared by peptidases in the kidney. IAPP is released following food intake to regulate blood glucose levels and acts as a satiation signal. Amylin's metabolic function is well characterized as an inhibitor of the appearance of nutrients, specifically glucose, in the plasma. In order to do this, IAPP functions as a synergistic partner to insulin. Its overall effect is to slow the rate of appearance of glucose in the blood after eating by coordinating the slowing down of gastric emptying and inhibiting digestive secretion which results in the reduction of food intake. IAPP is also a regulatory protein that may inhibit the synthesis of glucon and glucagon and insulin-stimulated glucose uptake, which was found through studies done where the concentration of IAPP was manipulated to be much higher than physiological levels. The anorectic effect of IAPP appears to be mediated via glucose-sensitive part of the brainstem, the area post-dreama, of the central nervous system. IAPP consists of a 67 residue protein which follows a 22 amino acid signal that is rapidly cleaved after translation. The first 22 amino acids constitute the signal sequence and the next 67 amino acids are the proform or pro-IAPP. The mature 37 residue protein is produced by proteolysis at pairs of basic residues at the C and N termini of the mature peptide. 11 amino acids are removed from the N terminus by the enzyme proprotein convertase 2, and 16 amino acids are removed from the C terminus by proprotein convertase 1 3. Pro IAPP is processed in the Golgi and in the insulin secretory granule. The polypeptide sequence is as follows. Amidation of the C-terminus follows synthesis and is a multi-step process. The C-terminal cleavage leaves a glycine-lysine arginine tripeptide sequence as the new C-terminus. The dibasic glycine and arginine pair at the C-terminus is removed by carboxypeptidase and the glycine acts as a nitrogen donor for amidation of the C-terminus. In the mature peptide, a disulfide bond is performed between amino acids residues 2 and 7. IAPP requires both an amidated C-terminus and a disulfide bridge between residues 2 and 7 for full biological activity. The mature protein is largely unstructured in the absence of a ligand and has a strong tendency to form fibular, fibrillar aggregates. The region encompassing residues 5 to 20 transiently sample helical psi and phi angles in solution. More persistent helical structure is formed when IAPP interacts with negatively charged molecules. To overcome this difficulty, the structure of the naturally occurring peptide has been analyzed in detergent micelles at neutral pH. The structure has an overall kinked helix 
motive with residues 7 to 17 and 21 to 28 in helical conformations with a 310 helix from glycine residue 33 to aspartate residue 35. IAPP is relatively hydrophobic but contains a few positively charged residues, lysine residue 1 and arginine residue 11. The pepti polypeptide is positively charged at and below physiological pH, which is important for interactions with negatively charged molecules and for interactions with sulfated proteoglycans of the extracellular matrix. Early prefibrillar structure can be extremely toxic to beta cells and insuloma cell cultures. The sequence of the 20 to 29 region is the primary region that dictates the ability of IAPP to form amyloid fibrils. IAPP amyloid fibrils are made up of two symmetrically related columns of IAPP monomers. The monomers within each pack on top of each other to generate a U-shaped structure with the beta sheet hydrogen bonds between adjacent IAPP molecules.